Here are 10 easy Insta360 X3 shots you need to try on your next holiday, which will make your travel vlog way better than anyone else's. So let's get started. Shot number one is the selfie time shift. I set the X3 to 360 video mode, 5.7K30. Extend the selfie stick in front of you and walk for at least two minutes. To edit this shot, the first thing I'm going to do is add speed. So leave the first second at normal speed then go to speed, section speed, 16 times, add speed from here throughout the entire shot, except for the last second. Tap the ticks to confirm. The next step is to reframe the shot. And the easiest way to do this is to turn on direction lock. So go to settings, tap direction lock and confirm. At the beginning of the timeline, reframe towards yourself. I will pinch my fingers inwards to zoom out and reveal more of the surroundings. Add a keyframe, and now when I play the shot, you will see I'm in the center of the frame throughout the entire shot because direction lock is turned on. Now, if you want to add cinematic colors to your shot, then go to filter, go to the film tab, tap F5, and bring the slider down to 50. Tap the tick to confirm, then go to adjust, saturation, and bring it up to 25. Tap the tick to confirm. And now when I play it back, you have a front facing time shift shot. Shot number two is the barrel roll. I set the X3 to 360 video mode, 5.7K30. Extend the selfie stick in front of you and carefully poke the selfie stick through the statue's legs. To edit this shot, first add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Go to rotate and rotate the shot to minus 180 degrees. Then move forward to around six seconds after you've gone through the statue's legs. Add a keyframe, reset the rotation and I'm going to change this field of view to linear plus. And then at the end of the shot, I'm going to add another keyframe, change it to narrow to zoom into the building. I'm just going to zoom out so I can get the full building in shot. It seems to be a little bit bent. So I'm going to update the keyframe, go to rotate and just straighten up the building. And now when I play it back, you have a barrel roll shot. Shot number three is the ferry time shift. I set the X3 to 360 video mode, 5.7K30. Mount the best 360 clamp securely onto a railing and make sure the selfie stick is extended enough to see the view. To edit this shot, the first thing I'm going to do is add speed. So to do this, I'm going to leave the first second at normal speed, then go to speed, section speed 32 times, add speed from here throughout the entire shot, except for the last second, tap the ticks to confirm. The next step is to reframe the shot. So to do this, I'm going to add a keyframe, use the linear plus field of view, and put the ferry in shot with the buildings behind, update the keyframe, then I'm going to go to the end of the timeline and reframe where the boat docks, add a keyframe. And now when I play it back, you have a ferry time shift shot. Shot number four is the car tiny planet shot. I set the X3 to 360 active HDR 5.7K30. Mount the magnet on the top of your car and drive your car for at least one minute. To edit this shot, the first thing I want to do is add speed. So to do this, move forward one second in the timeline, which will be normal speed, then go to speed, section speed, eight times, add speed from here throughout the entire shot, except for the last second, tap the ticks to confirm. The next step is to reframe the shot. And the easiest way to do this is to turn on direction lock. So go to settings, tap direction lock and confirm. 
Then go to the beginning of the timeline, add a keyframe, use the linear plus field of view, position the bonnet in the center of the frame, update the keyframe, and now when I play the shot back, because of direction lock being on, it's automatically following the direction the car is traveling in. Then I'll move forward a couple of seconds in the timeline, add a keyframe here, and then in the next second, add another keyframe, use the tiny planet field of view, pinch your fingers inwards to zoom out the view as much as possible, then swipe your finger up to turn it into a tiny planet view, update the keyframe, then move forward a couple of seconds, add a keyframe, then move forward another second, add a keyframe, use the linear plus field of view, drag the view so the bonnet is in the center of the frame, update the keyframe, and now when I play it back, you have a car tiny planet shot. Shot number five is the boat time shift. To capture this shot, I am using the Insta360 three meter extended selfie stick. I set the X3 to 360 Active HDR 5.7K30. Fully extend the selfie stick to the side of you and keep it there for at least one minute. To edit this shot, the first thing I'm going to do is add speed throughout the entire shot. So to do this, go to speed four times and tap the tick to confirm. Now I'm going to reframe the shot by adding keyframes. So at the beginning of the timeline, add a keyframe and I'll pinch my fingers inwards to zoom out. Position the boat in the center of the shot, update the keyframe, move forward a couple of seconds, put the boat in the center, add a keyframe, move forward another couple of seconds, put the boat in the center, add a keyframe, then go to the end of the shot, put the boat in the center, add a keyframe, and now when I play it back, you have a boat tracking shot. Shot number six is the backpack shot. I set the X3 to 360 video mode, 5.7K30. Place the selfie stick into the backpack and lock it into place. Extend the selfie stick, wear the backpack and secure the chest strap, then walk for at least a couple of minutes. To edit this shot, the first thing I'm going to do is add speed. So to do this, I'm going to move forward one second in the timeline to keep it as normal speed. Then go to speed, section speed, 16 times. Add speed from here throughout the entire shot, except for the last second. Tap the ticks to confirm. Then go to the beginning of the timeline, and the next step is to reframe the shot. The easiest way to do this is to go to settings and turn on direction lock. Then go to the beginning of the timeline. Pinch your fingers inwards to zoom out and show more of the surroundings. Make sure you're facing forward, add a keyframe, and now when I play it back, you have a backpack shot. Shot number seven is pan. To capture this shot, I am using the Insta360 three meter extended selfie stick. I set the X3 to 360 video mode, 5.7K30. Fully extend the selfie stick in front of you and slowly move the selfie stick from left to right. To edit this shot, I'm going to add keyframes. So at the beginning of the timeline, I'm going to face the pool and add a keyframe. Then I'll go to the middle of the shot to look at myself and add a keyframe. Then I'll go to the end of the shot, look at myself, add a keyframe. And now when I play it back, you have a pan shot. Shot number eight is low angle. I set the X3 to 360 active HDR 5.7K30. Point the X3 towards your feet and walk forward for at least 10 seconds. To edit this shot, the first thing I'm going to do is add a keyframe at the beginning of the shot using the linear plus field of view. And I'm going to reframe so I'm looking up to myself with the cathedral in view and update the keyframe. Then I'll go to the end of the shot put myself in the center of the frame, add a keyframe, and you now have a low angle shot. Shot number nine is the kayak tracking. I set the X3 to 360 video mode, 5.7K30. 
Mount the clamp on the side of the kayak and paddle for at least 10 seconds. To edit this shot, I'm going to position myself in the center of the shot, add a keyframe, then go to the end of the shot, pinch my fingers inwards to zoom out and reveal more of the surrounding, add a keyframe, then go to the middle of the timeline, add a keyframe when I'm in the center of the shot, then go between the first and the middle keyframe, position myself in the center and add a keyframe, then go between the middle and last keyframe, position myself in the center, add a keyframe, and now when I play it back, you have a kayak tracking shot. Shot number 10 is the sunset. I set the X3 to 360 interval mode, resolution set to 18 megapixels, interval 3 seconds. In exposure settings, I am using manual mode, ISO 100, white balance 5000 Kelvin, the shutter speed set to 1 over 2500th of a second, and INSP plus RAW. Place the Best360 monopod near the edge of the cliff and wait around 45 minutes to an hour for the time lapse to complete. To edit this shot, go to Edit, Shot Lab, scroll down to the Star Lab Shot Lab, tap it, use this theme, tap your sunset shot, go to Next, and now wait for the AI to finish processing the shot. Once the sunset shot has been processed, tap Edit Further, tap the Take for Reframe. Now because the shot is 18 seconds long, let's make it shorter for an Instagram Reel. So go to Speed, Entire Clip, and let's make it two times faster. Go back. The next step is to change the aspect ratio for an Instagram Reel. So go to Ratio and choose 9 by 16. Finally, let's reframe the shot. So go to Reframe and choose the Linear Plus field of view. And I'm going to start on the left hand side of the cliffs, update the keyframe. Then I'll go about halfway into the shot to face the sunset. Add a keyframe here. And now when I play it back, you have a sunset shot. Bonus shot 11 is underwater. To capture this shot, I am using the Insta360 3 meter extended selfie stick and the Insta360 X3 invisible dive case. I set the X3 to 360 video mode, 5.7K30. Place the anti-fog inserts on both sides of the case. Secure the X3 in the case and dip the X3 underwater and hold it in place. To edit this shot, I will add keyframes to put the subject in the center of the shot. So to do this, I'll move the subject in the center, add a keyframe and use the linear plus field of view to get rid of fisheye distortion. Then I'll move to the middle of the timeline, put the subject in the center, add a keyframe, then go to the end of the timeline, put the subject in the center, add a keyframe, and you now have an underwater shot. That's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Hit the like button if you learned something new. Subscribe for more 360 tutorials in the future. Let me know in the comments which shot was your favorite and which tutorials you want to see in the future. And I will see you in the next video.